up in the middle of Group D. Goes certainly trying to lock up that bye. And Kiv trying to get back on track after a heartbreaker. Had the turnover bug against Wesley. He's going to get it first. Takes it from his own end zone. Across the 10. Out past the 20 to the 25-yard line. And these guys have won a lot of money playing Madden, RG. You see that right there. 226,000 from Kiv, 124 from Ghost. That's over about 340 grand between these two guys just playing good old John Madden football. Two of the best that we have. Two of the most consistent since we started the MCS era. Kiv, a former Seahawks club champion. Ghost, a two-time Redskins club champion. And like you said... Just a few years ago, took that Redskins club champion and turned it in to the club championship when he took home that $100,000 in that belt. As you mentioned, RG, before he kicked off, these the only two belt winners among the 16. Kib would probably want to face anybody but goes down 0-1 inside group play. And Kiv's record, I, I want to just call it out. When he played in ladder play, we've seen a lot of mediocre records, Scott, from the guys that qualified for this Madden Challenge. Kiv, his record, I, I have it here, right here. Give me one second. 45-2. and two. That was the highest winning percentage out of anybody in the tournament. And with his loss to Joe Rice, I mean, he's already done, got half of the losses he had in the entire qualification period. So first and 10 at the 25. Kiv will go to work. Gets it outside. There's Sean Ross. Turns it upfield. Gains a few more yards for going out of bounds at the 33. And young Kiv, usually, you know, a private guy. I, I talked to him about, you know, Kiv, what are your plans? You've been... As he gets sacked up. They're on second down, and here comes a big third down. But I was asking him, hey, do you, do you want to stick with this competitive Madden? You've been doing this for a long time, a lot of success. What's next? He told me he might start getting into some of the YouTube, finally, and start giving people some tips. And I said, hey, they, you know, we need some more Madden pros doing that. We've seen, you know, chaos. He got a lot of people having success with that throne. TD Barrett, one of my favorites. They told me and Scott we couldn't eat all the brisket, so I called them out. But uh, that would be pretty cool. I hope Kiv, you know, takes himself up on that and gets involved into, into the YouTube. Third and eight, and it's picked off by Savage. A Savage interception. Yeah, and forget getting involved in YouTube. Right now, he needs to bring out that number one defense because he just threw what I believe is his fifth interception in about five, or if you count overtime, six quarters of John Madden football. This is just uncharacteristic from the Kiva. And I have to ask myself, Scott, how much of this is him being in that Tennessee Titans playbook that he drafted, which is something that he is not used to. It's not his normal gun bunch that he's been so comfortable in, you know, all these years. You know what Kiv and Tom Brady have in common? Oh, how bad are you about to troll me? <laughs> like, I, I could sniff this from a mile away. I'll just let it be. I know you too I'll well, brother. I'll just let it be. It, it, it had something to do with Rabel, but I'll just let it be. You remember, I was almost, <laughs> oh, man, when they had that fake, I hope it's a fake rumor of Brady enrolling his kids into Tennessee. I almost fainted. <laughs> That wasn't fun times here. I thought we were going to have to replace you I, I before almost, the game yesterday. I, I was almost, I didn't know if I could continue. Here's Michael Vick. Stayed in the pocket. Begin, brought down by Devin Bush. It's funny seeing Kiv. He's really transitioned to a defensive player to have the number one pass defense, the number one rush defense for a guy that's known as being one of the most prolific offensive players. It's shown how Kiv's adapted his game style to this much draft mode. Nice spin. Gets to the 40-yard line. That's a gain of eight. So it's going to be a third and seven just outside of field goal range. One of the things I love that Ghost told me, get into it right after this big third down play. Here comes Ross across the formation. Big down here for Goes on its opening drive after the INT. Vic, that's a wide open Larry Fitzgerald. 
And the former Walter Payton Award winner will pick up the first down. Coming into the tournament, I asked Ghost Scout, what's more important to you, the money or the belt? And he said, look, if the belt came with no money, I would take the money. But you know what? I would take the belt in 5K. What do you know? It tells me the belt and the glory is so important to that. That's him leaving 30K on the table because it's a $35,000 first prize. So he's essentially saying that belt's worth at least 30K to him. And I love to see that. These guys that have accomplished it, the money is nice. The glory lasts forever. And that's what a lot of them are gunning for. I think it's easier to say that when you won one, maybe. Oh, I don't for know. sure. <laughs> for sure. Both of these guys have won one. And they both want that second one. You know, they both mentioned Drini. They said, that I don't like that Drini already has two, and Mo has two, and Skim has three. They, you know, they're trying to move, pull away. Got to start catching up. Third and two. Vic comes the pressure. They pick it up momentarily. But not enough time. It's a loss of 12. And all of a sudden, it's a 51-yard field goal incoming. Kick is up. Does it have the distance? Yes, it does. It looked like it would have been good from 54 or so. I'll tell you, Coltrane, Josh Allen made a big play for Kiff before that field goal. Goes had the A crossing route about to break wide open into the end zone. And the pressure, oh, look at that, a little funky bounce. Pressure got there right before Ghost could get that pass off. Instead of seven, Ghost settles for three. And if you're the Kiva, it's time to get your offense in rhythm. We are used to seeing you make crispy reads be as prolific as possible. But in the last, in, in your last game, in this game, you already got five intos, just so uncharacteristic. And make another one! goes they won't catch him it's a pick six and it's about to be 10 to nothing goes if you're young kiv and you have the number one ranked defense scott off passing and rushing what you cannot do is Give ghost points when you're on offense. You need to let you keep your defense in the game. He throws his sixth interception. This is just so uncharacteristic. Ghost lurks and with Burns, one of the best linebackers in the entire draft. And Kiv is in trouble right now in this first quarter. Already down 0-1 in this group. Going up against the veteran and Ghost. This is completely unexpected. I knew Ghost was talented, but I expected this to be a back and forth battle. It's all Ghost so far. OBJ picks up the first down. He had been having trouble in the red zone in his first game, but it's getting wild here early. Hands it off to Eckler. Eckler gets to the outside, one man to beat. Does he have the speed? Savage will catch him. But he works his way down to the 27-yard line. Big play for Kiv. That's, that's why that Darnell Savage is such a factor, Coltrane. He's the fastest safety you can get in the draft at 93 speed. If that's not him on the field, Eckler's probably out and off to the cripple. But Savage just has too much speed, hawks him down, and saves a touchdown. That's Ghost's personnel doing serious work for him right there. After the end of one, 10 to nothing in the favor of Goes after two interceptions thrown by Kiv. But young Kiv on the drive here to start the second quarter. It'll be first and 10 from the 27. Murray gets it to Ross, and Ross will pick up the first down. Little burst of speed, and just like that, he's in the red zone. We saw Trey in a similar situation earlier. And it, you really need to make sure you get points here if you're a young Kiv. And Trey turned the ball over. And instead of making it a one-possession ball game, it's turned into a three-possession ball game. I don't anticipate Kiv making that mistake. And he had some truck. Kiv actually, though, did make that mistake against Joe Rice in the last game a couple of times. So let's see if he starts to clean up his act here. A touchdown here would be huge to get him back in this ball game. He'll flip the bunch, he's got to snap it. Murray, 
Looking for Kiv, looking, looking, and he throws Come another on. pick! It's C.J. Mosley this time! I'm in shock. I'm in complete shock, Coltrane. This is just not what you expect from Shea Kivlin. The 22-year-old phenom from Edmonds, Washington. One of the best in the business. Now has, what, seven interceptions in If he's trying to get a sponsorship quarters? from Warby Parker, this is not the way to do it, young Kiv. To the outside, Dave Casper. Took a big hit and couldn't hang on. It's with this red zone bunk, Coltrane. That you're getting in there, and we've seen so many red zone turnovers here at the Madden Challenge. Players just not protecting the ball, and not just any players. I mean, this is young Kip we're talking about. I mean, he was uh, back when you bought Madden 19 a few years ago. When you opened up the game, this kid was in the box. Well, he's in a box right now. And finds himself down 10, but it's only 10. Get a stop here, get it back. It's good. Need his defense to carry him. Started slow his last game against Wesley before forcing overtime. And maybe should have had a pick six to close it. But today's been unlucky for Kev. And get there's up. Troy Apke. Come on, get up. Get on your feet, young man. Damn, that's so big. Come on. Big oh, interception oh, by Kev. Oh, and there man. it is. He's had seven interceptions Damn. he's thrown in his last two games so far. Kev says, why don't I get one of my own? Get myself back in this ball game. And that's exactly what he needed. And here he goes, another chance. You don't get too many second chances in life, Scott, but here he is, another chance to make this a one-possession ball game in the second quarter. He has to take advantage of this. Murray will use his feet, looking for the marker, but will step out of bounds at the 16. It's a gain of eight. If your goes to, this messes with your psyche. You've done everything you can to win this game early on. Three interceptions. You feel like you should be running away with it, but here Kiv is knocking on the door. That's a big hit coming through, a loss of one. As Eckler couldn't get back to the line. And that is going to bring up a third and three. It's correct, Scott. That is a big tackle because if he doesn't convert the third and three, he'll probably have to take his three. And he will pick up the first down and does get down at the seven. So we got two mobile quarterbacks in this game. We Murray and Vic. I'm not saying they're on the same level, but they both can use their legs. And he's going to take this to the two-minute warning. You know what's funny is in the mud draft mode, Kyler Murray actually faster than Vic. Vic with the 88 speed. Kyler Murray's got that 90 speed, so... Not used to seeing many quarterbacks have that speed advantage over the Vikings. It's not fully gassed up. Yeah, it's not. It's not the full <laughs> Vikings. It's not the full Vikings. Did you see him when they announced on one of the football games that Lamar Jackson had exceeded his speed rating? Yeah. And Vic was quoted as saying, "He can take all the other stuff. Leave my <laughs> leave, leave my Madden accolades alone." First to Golden. Got a kick out of that one. Had a good time hanging out with him in Chicago for the kickoff this year. Couldn't be a nicer person. Now you're just showing off. Murray. He's got it. And Harrison doesn't get there in the one. Yeah, I'm just sitting there with Juice World, Little Yachty, Vic, Hester, Amon Green. No big deal. Just, you know, regular guys I hang out with. Playing a little superstar KO. And then I had a slum and just hang out with Erlacher and Ocho. Those were good times. These are the stories I have to hear on the regular, by the way. <laughs> if Kip doesn't score here, he's going to be frustrated, Scott, because he had the tight end wide open. Won't matter. Touchdown, Kip. This time keeps it on the ground. It's much more safe, and he'll kick the PAT here. And just like that, you're going to have a field goal game when you've played awful 
That's what I'm saying. I want, what's the secret, Kiva? I, I, how can I throw three interceptions in the first half and only be down three? By the time I, yeah. I do this in an yeah. online game, I'm, yeah. I'm out of there. It gets out of hand. The connection to your opponent has been lost. That's what my opponent sees because there's no way I'm coming back from something like that. But here the Kiv is, only down three, as you see him punch it in here. And against an elite player, no doubt, in Ghosts. That's why he's one of the best. Always going to be a tough out. So first to 10 from the 28 for Goes. Does have a three-point lead here with the 124 to go. Remember, he's going to get the ball on the other side of the half. And he'll just drop this off for Ross. Take his four yards and live to face another down. See how gross that pocket presence was from Ghost? A D lineman just coming right up to A gap. Most people just panic. Ghost steps back. Let's the fullback pick him up sidestep throws the open drag that was textbook Vic and that's gonna be deflected at the line could have been very dangerous Ghost was gonna check down to that popular hitch route that we've talked to you about his defender jumps up swats it down and says no it's been a good one at Pizza Hut Stadium thus far 10 to 7 113 to go in the half now. And there's Dave Casper. It's going to be fourth and in inches. I'd buy life insurance from James Cole. Buy anything from James Cole. Stand up guy right there. That It's been an honor having him on the broadcast. What's even better, too, is during the football season, get some free fantasy football advice, and I'll take it. He's a savant between him and Donnie Moore. I shouldn't even be drafting my own teams. Big fourth down, Coltrane. Everybody knows auto draft is the way to go. Fourth and maybe an inch. It's a big time situation. You don't get it here in Kiv is then striking distance and maybe taking the lead before the half. High form. Goes to Elliott deep and it's a turnover. Turnover on downs. Kiv stands tall. Who said you only have to hold the door on the goal line? Kiv sees that inch yard line and he gets his hold or on. And now at the very least, he should be able to tie this ball game because he's pretty much in field goal range. But he could very well take the lead after throwing three interceptions in the first half. This is unheard of. Only by the young Kiva do you see magic like this. You know, sometimes you see Tiger Woods and he isn't hit in the fairway, isn't hit in the greens, but somehow he's still right there. It's a great comparison. That's exactly what we're seeing right here. Look at the focus of both of those high-level competitors, two, to, two of the best that we got. Murray hands it off to Eckler. Eckler now in the red zone. The timeouts are going to be a factor here, two each. Kim's going to take his time. So they're going to mark it at the 11-yard line, 29 seconds to go in the half. Kiv has played Tara bad, and he's trying to take the lead. Hands it off to Eckler. Eckler pushing four to the seven, and there's that timeout, 13 seconds to go. I'll tell you what, as much as Kiv has been struggling throwing the ball through the air, it seems like when he keeps it on the ground to Eckler, he is finding running lanes, getting big gains. And you got to think, maybe when people, you go up against Kiv, you're expecting pass, you're going to be sit back waiting for him to air it out. It's going to, you know, leave people vulnerable for him to run the ball. Uh, if I'm Kiv, if Kiv, I'd like to see him stick to this ground game and, you know, make them stop that run. It's going to be a little harder right now with 13 seconds, obviously, but as this game progresses, that's something you should keep in mind. Still has a timeout. So Murray goes up under center, drops back, takes off with his legs, won't get there. And he uses a quick timeout here. You think he's trying to get another play in? 
think he is going to go for another play, Scott, and this is where it can get risky. We've seen people mess up in this situation several times already here throughout this Madden challenge. He's got to have a quick hitter that he likes here. You cannot mess this up if you can. You have already made too many mistakes. He's looking at running plays? Uh, you, this, you cannot mess this up. You need to at least tie this ball game. This has got to go to the air. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is big. Third and two from the three. No timeouts. Nine seconds to go in the quarter. Kiv will not get the ball to start the second half. It'll be goes, and he just throws it away. Very smart. Very, very smart from Kiv. If it's not there right away, just throw it away. Kick this field goal, tie the ball game. Not a perfect kick. But it's up and it's good. And we are tied with two seconds to go before the end of the half. What a first 10 minutes it's been. It's been a roller coaster ride. Especially if you're a fan of young Kiv. And Elliott's got some room. Zeke got caught up just a little bit. I don't think he had the speed to burst away anyway. And that's how the half will come to a close. 10 to 10 here. James, what's going on on the other side? Well, we've got a very, very close game in between K-Mac and Wesley, but it's close because K-Mac just can't get anything going offensively. His first drive ended with a punt. This was his second drive through a pick six, an easy pick six. His next drive, he threw another interception, and now Wesley leads seven to nothing. All right, for those of you interested in a big prize from Mutt's new Super Bowl promo, tune in for three consecutive hours during our Madden Challenge live stream coverage. For a special token, collect four to earn a Super Bowl past and present fantasy pack. You have the rest of today and tomorrow to make that happen. All right, taking a live look into the Snickers Players Lounge. There they are, what's up, little man? What's going on, my man? We got Henry sitting by as well. What else we got back there? Nick Mazesco, Bugs, all the players enjoying themselves there in the Snickers Players Lounge. All right, we got a close game here between two belt winners. We send it back to RG and Scott Cole. Get Nick out of there. Can't have him in the Snickers Lounge. No one's safe. You know what they need to do in that Snickers Lounge? They all seemed, there wasn't a ton of energy coming through there. Last time that happened, they brought some of those Snickers ice cream balls. Ooh. Started handing them out around the lounge, and That's everybody perked up real quick. I don't know where Jen's at, but if, if we can get some of that, you know, Snickers ice cream circling around here, it usually boosts morale quite quickly. I'm just throwing it out there. Jen Wing somewhere trying to take care of your invoices, and you got to run into the supermarket. Boy, those are good ice cream bars, bro. And then we bring you pizza from Pizza Hut. It's always something, RG. 10 to 10 in the first half. Ghost is going to be like, he's got to be like, what? What do I got to do? Yeah, if you're Ghost, it's frustrating that, you know, you played so much good defense at the tie ball game. But the benefit is you do get the ball to start the second half in a tie game, which means you are still in control. So it's pivotal that he goes down and gets some points on this possession. It's Ross again. This is an East Coast, West Coast battle between Goes and Young Kiv. And we got a third and six from the 33 yard line. I have no idea how this game's tied. Look how, look at Kiv in the gap, that left A gap with Amos. He's just standing there. He doesn't come in. Looking, firing, Larry Fitzgerald along the boundary, first down. That's just too wide open. It's like Ghost was staring him down. Kiv was taking the deep cross away with Amos. This ran away from it. Ghost makes the prolific read that we've seen from him time and time again in his Madden career. Vic, an awkward throw. Oh my God, come on. Go straight Mortal Kombat. Ah, oh, Rukin. <laughs> and knocked away. Second and ten. 
You know, Ghost playing with a little extra motivation too. His brother Sonin just flew in, got in late last night. We saw him in the players' lounge. And Casper once again can't hold on to the football. One thing I love about the brothers Spa, they're always supporting each other. And we saw Sonin almost win the Broncos club championship this year before he went down to Turbo. Jeff, he promised me that he'll get one of them one time, but now he's here supporting his brother Ghost, one of the best in the world. Ghost on a big third and 10. Vic, Come and on. this time it's gonna be picked. It's the legend, Willie Brown. And he'll return oh, it out to the 42 yard line. Young Kim with the ball Put and a chance to take the lead. Time. Come on. One-eyed Willie headed to Goonie Goon Goons. One, we saw him chuck it up in a one-on-one. -on -one. Willie didn't come down with it. Kim was frustrated. You test the head of the Goonie Goon Goons one too many times. He's going to make a play, and that's what Willie Brown did right there. And there goes Kim getting it done on the ground. I'm telling you, Scott, if I'm the Kiver, I'm giving Ghost a heavy dose of Austin Eckler until he shows me that he can blow it up. Six carries for 80 yards for Eckler. Ghost came out with 10, un 10 unanswered. Kiv battled back with 10 points of his own. And now he's got the ball with 2.31 to go in the third. Eckler once again. I mean, th these lanes are just wide open, Scott. And Kiv's got the stick work to take him. And it's because you, you can't commit. I mean, who would, if you're playing young Kiv, the last thing you're thinking is, oh, let me, let me commit to stop the run. There's no way. Second and four now. It certainly helped him take care of the football since he's gone with the ground game. Murray here for Kiv. And throws back across. OBJ coming out of the backfield. We'll take it to the 22. Beautiful play from Kip. That's that delay route from the tight end. You can hot route your tight ends to delay routes this year. And what they'll do means is they're gonna block, they're gonna block until you hit that A button of the tight end, and that's gonna let them know to stop your blocking assignment and release. It's a new tactic to Madden 20, and if you're not doing it, using it, you're doing it wrong. That block and release and that's is why key. Trey Y flex is so important. A lot of things you can do with putting that wide receiver at tight end, but this time OBJ. It's a really good point, Scott. It's, it, it is a wide receiver at the tight end position, and you can't do that in any formation. But in this Trey Y flex, they do have a package that allows them to do it. So usually that's some slow guy on the block and release with the Kiver. It was Odell Beckham was able to catch it and not only catch it, put on a spin move and get some after yards after the catch. Second and 10. He's in this patented bunch here, Scott. Ross will motion out. Kiv looking downfield, somehow avoids the sack. And Isabella. Yeah, They'll say his knee was down at the 14. I wonder how Kiv would have done in the old school mini games. You know the pocket drill when they'd shoot all the little tennis balls at you? That was before Kiv's time. All my old Madden heads know exactly what I'm talking about. Bet you the Kiva would be a problem in that drill with the elite pocket presence that he has. Same with Ghost. Eckler. Big tackle, boy. Mm. Gets to the 13 and. He's going to send the field goal unit out here and try to take a field goal lead, but it's going to be 13 unanswered if this kick can find its way true. And it does. 13-10. Now in the favor of Kiv. And that takes us to the fourth quarter. Five minutes left in this one. Put your fours up. It's Kiv and goes in group play. What a group it is, too, when K-Mac is the underdog to come out of a group. I mean, you know you got a serious group right there. Of course, you can check all these games out on the Madden Competitive YouTube channel. I was out there watching a little earlier. I love what they've done with that YouTube channel. It was too hard for too long. 
you know, yeah, the, I just want to like find a game from like so way would, back in the day, and you can't find it, but now you can. So Everything that has happened in Madden 20 has been archived. It's a huge shout out to our broadcast team, and you know I, I'm glad that they're taking the initiative to do that. It, it pains me that you know all the footage and videos from back when I was competing. It, it, you know it's it's long. It's in the land of the lost now. Not going to allow that to happen with the MCS. That's a big deal to preserve our history. I'm sure someone's got those laser discs somewhere. <laughs> Point is, make sure you go out and support that YouTube channel. Support the MCS. Going up top. Come and on, Dalvin bro. Cook. Is like what? Can't oh come down God. with it. And neither can Willie Brown, who is step for step with him. Kiv needs to be careful, not get too tilted. I know you want the interception right there, but you know they knock it down in that situation, except, especially when the wide receiver goes for that aggressive catch. You need to stay focused, stay locked in if you're the Kiva. But you did hear Ghost say, man, he's playing good defense. Well, he is the number one ranked defensive player in the whole field. He could run for the first down here, but instead he playmakers up. Ross, and Ross is going to put on the afterburners. And he's inside the red zone. They'll mark him down at the 12. Big gain for Goes. Phenomenal play from Hassan Spall to playmaker in space. And potentially even a bigger tackle from Young Kiv. He clicked onto that Troy Apke. And that's not an easy tackle to make in the open field. Let's see how big that ends up being. Kenny holds goes to three right here. Keep this a tie ball game. Oh, oh got the ball ball. That. And Davis will scoop I for Kev. Goes was in prime time scoring position. And he gives it away. Oh, I'm talking about keeping it a tie ball game. Kim says, shut up over there in the booth, RG. How about I punch him in the mouth right now, get the ball back, and give myself a chance to go down and make this two possessions. All the momentum's with the Kiva. Big gain of eight as Eckler is closing in on 100 yards. Nine carries for 96. And here comes the second and two. Ghost hasn't scored since... I believe the first quarter. It's been a while. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Ghost potentially laying down for the rest of the field, too. I mean, everybody loves young Kiv, but nobody's trying to deal with him late into this Madden challenge as the bracket progresses. And Ghost had a chance to put him away 0-2 up 10-0, and now he finds himself back against the ropes, and Kiv looking to get himself all the way back into this group. And he might have lost a yard. It's going to depend on the spot here. Yeah, they'll push him back. It'll be a third and three. He cannot take it to the two-minute warning. Oh, baby, this is going to be a humongous third and three, Scott. It's tough if you're kid. You've had so much success on the ground. You kind of want to go to Eckler, but you're, you're a pass-first type player, so you go to the air. And he'll put in the flats to OBJ, who battles for it. And it's fourth and inches. Damn! What do you do, RG? Two minute warning, fourth and inches, you got the lead. And he's. This is a he's, tough I think decision. he's going to go. I don't like picking what I got to eat for breakfast off of the menu. Making these type of decisions is tough. But Kiva says, I'm an offensive specialist, and so that's what I'm known for. And he's going. French toast, four pieces of bacon, crispy, ah! up to Isabella! Come on. Come on! Will they catch him? And they will, all the way to the one. What on. a play from young Kiv. And I'll tell you, Scott, we've talked about it before. Sometimes the best time to take a shot, it takes some kahunas to do it is in those short yardage situations. Everybody's playing underneath. They're playing hard flats. They're gonna leave themselves vulnerable over the top and Kip goes for it. Let's and go. now he's reaping the benefits after getting a touchdown and going up two possessions. Immaculately played by young Kiv. It is now 20 points unanswered. Five plays, 84 yards, taking less than two minutes. And Goes, who came in 1-0 and in the groups after a big win over K-Mac, is now finding himself on the other side. And Kiv 
who lost his first matchup, really needed this as you take a look at the Snickers touchdown one more time. And if you're at home watching and you struggle on offense, take a note on that. I used to make a living like that, Scott, of getting big plays in those short yardage situations. If you're not the best offensive player, you definitely want to get that into your game plan because it is going to be so much easier to turn big plays in those inches situations. It's risky, but sometimes the reward is worth the risk, as it sure was right there for Shea Kivlin, a.k.a. Young Kiv. Almost looked like a shovel pass out to Dave Casper. It's a gain of five. Uses a timeout. 94 seconds left in the game. He needs a score and an onside kick. He goes to Ross. Ross will pick up the first down, but tackled in bounds. And we're down to 115 now. Up top to Casper. Casper's got some room, but Willie Brown will trip him up the 15. The problem is every time I see Casper now, I'm thinking, there goes James's boss. <laughs> 45 seconds to go here. If you're not confident in the red zone, you might want to kick the field goal. Oh, for sure. You need an onside kick anyway. The problem is... Even if you get the onside kick, it's hard to get this close to the end zone, so you probably have a better chance of getting the touchdown right here. Where if you get the touchdown and then the onside, getting a field goal is way less of a problem. And oh. Willie Brown says, not today, no sir. I and what a comeback for Kiv. I call him one-eyed Willie, head of the Goony Goon Goons for some reason, because you do not want to trifle with Willie Brown. That was a huge pick for young Kev, one of the elite corners. He has Shaquille Griffin and Willie Brown out there on the outside. And if you're in this Madden Challenge, you got to pay attention to that, because it is going to be tough to test Kev's corners, because they're locked down out there. Can't take two knees, I guess, based on where he was on the field, but now he should be able to bend the knee. He was down 10 nothing. He had thrown three interceptions, and it looked like he might be heading home. Next thing you know, he reels off 20 points. That's part of the greatness that is young Kiv Scott. He, he's one of the top players in the world for a reason, and it's because he can come back from deficits like that against top players like Ghost. And not everybody's built like that, but you know who is? The Kiva. The Madden guy in me wants to go, I could beat him. <laughs> but I know better. What a comeback by young Kiv.